Say trick or treating was a success. What's up, cereal heads? Today we're going to talk about a handful of Kellogg's new Halloween themed cereals. For this spooky season, Kellogg's released a handful of new cereals, but none of them deserve their own entire video, so I thought it'd be best just to combine them. Let's start with the only new original cereal from Kellogg's for Halloween. New Hocus Pocus 2. Now this cereal is obviously a tie-in to the New Hocus Pocus 2 sequel released on Disney Plus at the end of September. My wife loves the original Hocus Pocus and watches it around Halloween every year. I've never actually seen the whole movie and I have no interest in a sequel released 30 years after the original. So I can't tell you anything about that movie or the sequel, but at least you don't have to worry about getting any spoilers for the movie from me. So as you can see from the box here, this limited edition cereal is a berry brew flavor, which I assume is like every other generic berry flavored cash grab tie-in cereal they release. So it looks like the cereal is purple, orange, and yellow colored stars with little green sprinkles on them. And then on the front here, you have the three sister witches. Are they sisters? I actually don't even know if they're sisters. Let's take a look at the back of the box here. Psych, just kidding. There's no back of the box. The front and the back are the same. No movie promotion, no fun games or activities. Just the bare minimum that you can do for a movie tie-in cash grab cereal. See, I told you none of these cereals deserve an entire video. So let's open up this stuff and take a look. So here's what a bowl of Hocus Pocus 2 cereal looks like. You can see the stars there in purple, yellow, and orange. And there's a few green sprinkles on them, but not too many, honestly. Let's hit them with some milk and give them a try. Yeah, so it just tastes like a bland berry flavored cereal. This is gonna sound terrible, but the flavor kind of reminds me of like berry flavored Tums. I don't know, it's kind of just like a chalky berry flavor. That sounds terrible. It's not a terrible cereal, but it's just kind of boring and bland. I feel like they've done this flavor so much that I can't even remember which cereals have used it. I think this is probably the same flavor as that Crayola cereal. I and mean, it's not just Kellogg's, General Mills has done a generic berry flavor for many of their tie-in cereals. There's just nothing unique or special when it comes to taste. But hey, if you're like my wife and you love Hocus Pocus and maybe the sequel, then you'll probably wanna collect this box. Let's move on and talk about other Kellogg's Halloween cereals. Next up is a special Halloween version of Rice Krispies. What makes this version special? Well, the cereal is orange. Ooh, ah. No flavor changes here to the cereal, no marshmallows, just change the color of the cereal. You can see on the front of the box here, they dressed up Snap, Crackle, and Pop like monsters there for Halloween. And you got Pop there holding a tray of some orange colored Rice Krispie treats that are like a jack-o'-lantern and Frankenstein's monster. And it says down here, the cereal is a shocking orange colored cereal. Shocking. On the side of the box here, they have a recipe for Rice Krispie treats, and then there's a QR code that you can scan for more recipes. Let's take a look at the back of the box now. Now at least this features some fun illustrations and activities or games. They have a spot the difference game, find the objects game, and a little maze as well. Also the Kellogg's mascot gang is all here. You can see Bad Apple and Cinnamon in their cars, Toucan Sam and his Fruit Loops mobile, and Tony the Tiger in his orange tiger striped car. It's a fun Halloween festival. All right, let's open up this cereal and take a look. So here's what a bowl of orange Rice Krispies cereal looks like. Just regular Rice Krispies with a little food coloring. Although it is a pretty bright and vivid orange color. I like that. Now I'm not gonna hit these with milk and try them because well, you know what Rice Krispies taste like. And besides, we have some more cereals to get to. Now as you saw on the back of that Rice Krispies box, Toucan Sam, Tony the Tiger, and the Apple Jacks mascots always get excited for Halloween. And they change their boxes and add a little marshmallows to their cereals. So first up, you got Tony the Tiger, who brings back his chocolate-flavored Frosted Flakes with spooky marshmallows for Halloween. Now he's done this for past Halloween, so nothing really new with the cereal or marshmallows here. But the box art has changed this year. Now we have Tony, who's dressed up as Frankenstein's monster on the front of this box. I gotta say, that's a pretty good look for him. Let's see what the other mascots are up to this Halloween. We got Toucan Sam, who's going for the witch look this season for Halloween. In the past, he's dressed up like a werewolf, but I like this witch look for him. And I also like that he's breaking gender stereotypes with his costume. The cereal is just orange and purple Fruit Loops this year for Halloween, and they have the spooky marshmallows there. Let's see what the Apple Jacks mascots are up to. It looks like Bad Apple and Cinnamon went as mummies once again for Halloween this year. The box art is different than last year, but it looks like they recycled their same costumes for trick-or-treating this year. And again, this one's just regular Apple Jacks with the spooky marshmallows added in. Here's what a bowl of all three of those cereals look like. 
You got Tony's Chocolate Frosted Flakes with Spooky Marshmallows. There's Toucan Sam's Halloween Fruit Loops with orange and purple loops and Spooky Marshmallows. And then there's the Spooky Apple Jacks that are just normal Apple Jacks with the Spooky Marshmallows. And the back of all three of these boxes is the same as that Rice Krispies box I showed you. Maybe that means that Kellogg's is adding Snap, Crackle, and Pop to the annual Halloween spooky cereals. I mean, kind of. The Rice Krispies don't have the spooky marshmallows like these last three cereals. I kind of wish they did. Maybe they'll add spooky Marbits next year. All right, well, that's the rundown for the Kellogg's Halloween cereal roster this year. Halloween season will be coming to an end pretty soon, but I'm sure these boxes will stay on shelves long after Halloween, maybe go on sale. And before you know it, we'll be in Christmas cereal season. Will we get a good gingerbread flavored cereal this year? Who knows? Lastly, I just want to say some people have asked why I'm still promoting Kellogg cereals when they treat their workers so bad. Now, as I said in that Kellogg Strike video a while back, I was going to refrain from promoting their new cereals when they came out. And I've stuck to that for the most part, but I've also heard from people in the union who work for Kellogg's that say they don't want anybody boycotting Kellogg's, and some people have even asked to see Kellogg cereal videos. So unfortunately, I don't have an answer that'll satisfy everybody. I'm going to still continue to try not to promote their brand new cereals as best I can. All right, well, as always, thank you for watching, and until next time, stay crunchy. Trick or treat, trick or treat. Cereal.